Hey, Calibrate Tools and DIY family. Did you know that carpet cleaning is an industry, a skill, a trade that can pay you well? Well, today we're gonna to talk to Lance Keeling of Keeling Carpet Cleaning, and he's gonna show us how to clean carpets the right way and how to make money at it too. Stick around, I'll see you right after this. guys getting ready to clean this carpet look at the spots on this thing it's ridiculous right stuff spills smudges mud who knows what gets on a carpet can this can this even come out that's the question hey how you doing i'm lance keeling carpet cleaning service and we're here to tackle a job as far as carpet cleaning uh, I'm going to show you all the phases that we go through to clean the carpet. This particular job here is a three-phase process, and I want you to just pay attention, ride along with me, and I'll show you how to get it done. First, what we're dealing with is the carpet in this area, and there's another room. As you can see, the carpet is pretty soiled. So the first step we do is treat the carpet with the proper solutions that will break down the dirt and bacteria, kill any micro insects, and allow us to extract all the dirt and bacteria out of the carpet. Let me show you how it goes. So again, now this is a mixed concoction of carpet cleaning solutions, professional solutions. And again, they're used to break down the dirt and bacteria and you wanna spray evenly. And you wanna use your judgment far as how you spray areas that are more soiled of course you'll use more solution in that area so you want to make sure you cover every inch of the carpet now normally this process here depending on the size of the job can take anywhere up to 30 to 45 minutes now let me also mention that you have to have these solutions in order to clean the carpet. If you don't have these solutions that will break down the dirt and bacteria, it's like washing clothes with no detergent. So these are the detergents for carpet cleaning. Let's get things nice and even. As you can see here, this is the high traffic area. So you're gonna add a little more solution to it. Now you can only get these solutions if you're a professional licensed carpet cleaner. And they're sold at specific locations. Also, the other key to carpet cleaning is once you begin the cleaning process, which we do a steam cleaning extraction, you have to be sure to get all the water or as much water as possible out of the carpet. And the reason for that is, of course, if you don't pull the water out, then you're just leaving dirty water in the carpet. Secondly, and the most important thing, you want the carpet to dry as soon as possible, as well as if you leave water inside the, the carpet and you don't extract all of it, you can cause a problem with mildew. So you want to be sure to get that out. And the reason I mention that, sometimes people will go to different uh, locations and rent the little small machines. Well, they're not actually strong enough to pull the water up out of the carpet. So that's why you have that problem for your carpet to dry. You know, it takes all day or even the next day for it to completely dry because those machineries are not strong enough. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're gonna go into the other room, repeat the same process. And again, we're just trying to make sure to get every inch of the carpet saturated with the solution. Now this particular job, we're only dealing with the open areas. So that's what the customer requested and that's what we're gonna do. Now the next process 
is the dwelling process. Meaning, the solutions I just sprayed on the carpet, we want them to sit on the carpet for about 10, 15 minutes. That way they'll get down into the fibers of the carpet and really break down the dirt bacteria. And like I said, again, kill any micro insects. Now I'm gonna do the second phase, which is a, a, a scrubbing process to really work the solutions down into the base of the carpet. So this is my gym workout. Got to go over every inch of the carpet. Now, different companies will use different processes to make this happen, but I find this for us to be most effective. And you can see some of the stains are removing already, which is a good sign. Once I come in with the machine and rinse and extract, it'll easily pull up. For example, this thing here, if I can come here and scrub it out, once I rinse it, be like magic. It's a real workout. And sometimes the stubborn stains, once you go through this phase of it and it's still not coming out, you just spray some more solution on it. And most of the times that'll do the trick. This particular job here is pretty soiled, but I'm confident we'll be able to get it back to get them really wet. All right, I'm gonna repeat the same process in the other room and then start the actual cleaning. Now this is our industrial portable unit. This is a pretty powerful machine. And mind you, we have two types of equipment. We have the truck mount unit that's mounted inside the van. This particular unit is needed for when you can't set up to operate your truck mount unit. So when you're doing high rises or gated apartment buildings, or you just can't get positioned to use the bigger machine. But this industrial unit is very strong and it's much stronger than the machinery that you use that you go and uh, rent at the supermarkets and so forth. Uh, it has a two-stage vacuum and uh, a release rinse uh, button where you spray out other solutions to mix with the carpet and to extract it. The same concept as washing and rinsing your clothes. And so that's what we're about to do with this unit. We're gonna rinse all that solution, dirt and bacteria that I just treated, and then the vacuum is gonna suck it back up into the recovery tank. This particular job and the condition it is should take roughly about an hour or so. The drying process should probably take anywhere between three to five hours at the most. The machinery is gonna pick up anywhere from 90, to say 92, 93% of the water the rest, the air will continue to dry. Anytime a carpet cleaner cleans your carpet and it's left soaking wet, that's just a technician not taking his time to dry the carpet. It should never be left soaking wet. All right, so let's get to it. This particular unit runs off electricity in the housing. So you do have to plug it up and you can hear it. We've already filled it up with the rinse water. So you didn't get to see that, but it's very simple. This is the, the rinse tank, and that's the recovery tank. That's the fresh water that I'll be spraying on the carpet. The machinery has a dual purpose. It, it rinses and dries at the same time. 
So this particular hose I'm hooking up now, it's the solution hose. And mind you, I wanna to say too, anybody thinking about getting into the carpet cleaning business, you can start off with this machinery, but you eventually wanna work your way up to the truck mounting unit. Uh, that way you can handle uh, any size job. And you need both machineries, they are, it is important. Because when I work downtown Los Angeles, or if I work in the Wilshire District or in Santa Monica with the high rise apartments, I can't use the, the machinery that's mounted into the van. So I have to use my portable unit. So you do need both machines if you don't want to miss any business. And trust me, I don't want to miss any business. Now, what I demonstrated to you, the first two phases, that's just the prep. Just like a, a painter or a guy that does the car, you know how they put the tape around before they start painting, they prepping the job. Well, that's what I just did with this carpet cleaning. Spraying the solutions, treating it with the scrub, that's the preparation for the actual cleaning. And I also want to mention too, or almost before I forget, that carpet cleaning is a necessary uh, thing to do as far as keeping your house free of germs and bacteria. A lot of us don't take our shoes off when we come into the house, so you're tracking all that dirt and bacteria from outside into your home. If you have pets, or if you just have a lot of kids, you know how kids are spilling things all over the place. So I recommend, and it's actually industry recommended, that you get your carpet cleaned twice a year, once every six months. Because uh, babies play on the carpet, and that's how they pick up a lot of allergies or sometimes asthma because all the dust mites and the dirt that they're breathing because they're so close to the carpet. So to keep your home totally clean when you do your spring cleaning, make sure you get your carpet clean. Make sure you call Keelan Carpet Clean. <laughs> Pull this up close enough so we can reach into the other room. Okay, so now we're fully hooked up. And let me explain to you the apparatus of the machine. This is the vacuum hose. This hose, uh, which is connected to the back of the machine, which goes into the recovery tank, sucks up the water and all the dirt bacteria and sends it into this tank. This is a 17 gallon tank. And again, it's two phases, it has two vacuums. Right here, that's the suction that pulls all the dirt and the water. On this particular machine, once this fills up, I have to take a bucket, dump it, and then start the process all over again. This is the solution hose that sprays out the fresh water, the rinse water, that rinses the carpet. That's what comes out first. With this lever here, this apparatus here is called a wand. This wand here is where the fresh water sprays out. That's the water to rinse all the dirty bacteria. The vacuum sucks it up. Okay, and that's Basically it on that process is just a rinse and a vacuum and then you have the finished results of a clean carpet. Alright, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with the other room. From the back to the front. Just work your way out the door. And remember it's as simple as as much water you put down, you want to take your time to go over that area that you spray with water and dry it up. You can hear the vacuum working. That's the suction. Then again, that's the spray to rinse. You rinse, and then you dry it up. I forgot to pour this. Oh, this is uh, because the solutions are soapy. Yeah. yeah. So it'll fill up with suds, the, the wastewater. Gotcha. Uh, you will fill up with suds, so you have to pour some defomer down there so it'll liquefy it. It won't clog the machine up. Right. Yeah, it'll affect the, uh, the suction. So if it soaps up.
dirt and bacteria we actually got out of this carpet which I think is pretty significant all right so that's that's pretty bad there but it's clean now but that's the dirt and the bacteria we pulled up out of the carpet and I'll probably end up filling this five gallon bucket up at least two maybe three times so that's the water I initially put down to rinse and then that's what I suck back up so I'm gonna go ahead and dump it out in the water and, and this is all biodegradable it's not gonna hurt any uh, flowers or plants or anything like that so you could just simply either pour it down the drain won't damage any pipes or anything like that or you know you can pour it in the uh, in the dirt now this is the bigger unit this is the truck mount unit uh like i was showing you on the smaller machinery it's the same principle same concept but just a bigger machine this this machinery is self-contained you hook it up to the water holes outside of the building or your house the water feeds into the machine it gets it up to a temperature of 180 to 200 degrees and that's what you use to to rinse the water out and this is the vacuum hose the same as i showed you uh on the smaller machine but this we on this machinery we actually have 200 feet of holes so we can get to you you know like if you're at the back of the building or something and that's the waste tank uh it's a 52 gallon tank and just like i demonstrated to you the dirty water that came out and we poured it into the bucket well that water stays in there self-contained and then we take it to an area and dump it okay, okay? so that's it once again, I'm Lance of Keelan Carpet Cleaning Business. We've been fortunate enough to be in business uh, since 1999, so that's two, 22 years. And we uh, service the whole entire Los Angeles Basin from the inner city all the way out to Malibu, as well as Lakewood, Norwalk, Compton, Long Beach, uh, West Hollywood. So if you're in need of carpet or upholstery cleaning, please give us a call. Our number is 310. 654-7408. And again, I'm Lance of Keelan Carpet Cleaning. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hey, no problem, Lance. I appreciate you coming to hang out with us on the Calibrate Tools DIY channel. Hey, guys, if you want to see more people like Lance come on here and share the gems and nuggets that they have to give us, go to Calibrate.com. The link's in the description and help support the channel by grabbing some of those great home improvement products we have. And don't forget to sign up for the email list for some great information as well. Hey guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.